Piet Hein, the 16th of December 1905 to the 17th of April 1996, was a Danish polymath, mathematician, inventor, designer, author and poet, often writing under the old Norse pseudonym Kumble, meaning tombstone. His short poems, known as Grux or Grux Danish, Gruck, first started to appear in the daily newspaper Politiken shortly after the German occupation of Denmark in April 1940 under the pseudonym, Kumbel Kumbel. Biography <inaudible> 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 Hein, a direct descendant of Piet Pietersoon Hein, the 17th century Dutch naval hero, was born in Copenhagen, Denmark. He studied at the Institute for Theoretical Physics of the University of Copenhagen, later to become the Niels Bohr Institute, and Technical University of Denmark. Yale awarded him an honorary doctorate in 1972. He died in his home on Funen, Denmark in 1996. Topic. Work Pete Hine, who, in his own words, played mental ping pong with Niels Bohr in the interwar period, found himself confronted with a dilemma when the Germans occupied Denmark. He felt that he had three choices do nothing, flee to neutral Sweden, or join the Danish resistance movement. As he explained in 1968, Sweden was out because I am not Swedish, but Danish. I could not remain at home because, if I had, every knock at the door would have sent shivers up my spine. So, I joined the resistance." Taking as his first weapon the instrument with which he was most familiar, the pen, he wrote and had published his first, Gruk, Gruk in Danish. It passed the censors who did not grasp its real meaning. Consolation gruk closing one glove is certainly painful, but nothing compared to the pain of losing one, throwing away the other, and finding the first one again. The Danes, however, understood its importance and soon it was found as graffiti all around the country. The deeper meaning of the gruk was that even if you lose your freedom, losing one glove. Do not lose your patriotism and self-respect by collaborating with the Nazis. Throwing away the other. Because that sense of having betrayed your country will be more painful when freedom has been found again someday. After liberation, Scandinavian architects, tired of square buildings but cognizant that circular buildings were impractical, asked Pete Hein for a solution. Applying his mathematical prowess to the problem, Pete Hein proposed to use the superellipse which became the hallmark of modern Scandinavian architecture. In addition to the thousands of grooks he wrote, Pete Hein devised the games of hex, tangloids, tower, polytaire, tactics, nimby, crazy cube, pyramisteri, and the soma cube. He advocated the use of the superellipse curve in city planning, furniture making and other realms. He also invented a perpetual calendar called the Astro Calendar and marketed housewares based on the Super Ellipse and Super Egg. Topic: <laughs> Personal. Pete Hine was married four times and had five sons from his last three marriages. 1937, married Gunvor Holk, divorced. 1942 Married Gerda Ruth Nina Konheim, divorced Sons, Juan Alvaro Hein, born 9 January 1943, Andres Humberto Hein, born 30 December 1943 1947 Married Anne Katharina Croyer Pedersen, divorced Son, Lars Hein, born 20 May 1950 1955 married Gerd Eriksson, who died the 3rd of November 1968. Sons: Jotun Hein, born the 19th of July 1956; Hugo Pete Hein, born the 16th of November 1963. Topic bibliography Grooks 20 volumes, originally published between 1940 and 1963, all currently out of print. 
Grooks 1, Doubleday & Co., 1969. Grooks 2, Doubleday & Co., 1968. Grooks 3, Doubleday & Co., 1970. Grooks 4, Doubleday & Co., 1973. Grooks 5, Doubleday & Co., 1973. Grooks 6, Borgen's Pocketbooks 154, 1996. Grooks 7, Borgen's Pocketbooks 174, 1984. See also Flippism <laughs> Notes <laughs>